Yes, sir. So, bros, I ran into another series that's yet once again is about four liberal black females living in NYC, navigating their way through relationships, the workforce, white supremacy, black men, quote unquote. The list goes on. I can imagine, bro, what's going on in these Zoom meetings, conference calls and whatnot. When they're hearing the ideas getting pitched, they're like, you know what, Jeff, Jim, I got an idea. Yep. For women, yep. For black women, yep. In NYC, yep. Dealing with relationship issues and white supremacy. Sounds perfect. Let's do it. We need four spinoffs. Let's go. It's the same reoccurring theme, bro. How many shows are coming out now to where the core of the show is four independent liberal black females dealing with relationship issues, dealing with depression, dealing with work. The list goes on. Fucking up in relationships. The black man is the cause. The black man is the problem. This, that, and the third. How many times are we hearing it? But you would think that is far-fetched, bro. But these shows are very, very relative, my dude. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> in your day-to-day -day life, bro, whether it's in school, work, close ones, mutual friends, the list goes on. You're going to see, you're going to figure out, hopefully, that more females actually get down like this. The way that you see on these TV shows is not just satire, bro. For the most part, it is non-fiction. You would think that they're making it up and whatnot, but a good amount of females get down like this. Let's be real. In this situation right here, how many times have we heard, if you want to get over somebody, get under somebody? Silly females give that kind of advice to each other. Males also, but that's a different story. We could talk about that another day. Females take that silly advice from other miserable females because they want them to run up their mileage because their box is ran through also. You see all of these females finding solace in dealing with each other because they're equally dysfunctional. They go into brunches to get drunk and get over their exes, get over the bad decisions that they continue to make. The list goes on. They love choosing confusion. They love going to places to where the possibility is you might bump into somebody that you used to deal with. The list goes on. If you're in a local function or whatnot, you know that there's the possibility of you bumping into your ex and then you might get triggered to the point that you're going to have to try to grab onto somebody to see if you could get some instant gratification. If somebody could fuck your brains out to the point that you're not thinking of your ex, that person has a, has a significant amount of power and control over you. You just don't understand it. You're getting triggered to the point that you're going to do something that you're going to regret. Something in the morning that you might not even feel like. Damn, I really shouldn't have did that. But these girls don't think like that. These girls live in the moment and bros just got to just let it be. It is what it is. In this situation right here, you got this homegirl, Ella. She's about to bump into her ex who basically popped up on the scene unexpectedly. And we're going to just see how the events fall through after that. I hope y'all heard that her friend that pulled up said my voodoo must be getting real rusty bros you cannot imagine how many liberal black females and females for the most part are basically diving into witchcraft you wouldn't believe it you can see it on your feed you can see it on the posts crystals chakras dream catchers talking about sex magic and this that and the third you wouldn't understand how many females are modern day witches because it's getting embraced back in the day witches used to get chased out of town but now they're getting embraced with open arms talking about astrology all of this bullshit and they still can't get the signs they're still miserable they're still depressed 
They're looking for all of these avenues. They're searching for all of these avenues because they don't want to humble themselves and actually listen to a dude or actually listen to somebody with some common sense, maybe an elder, maybe somebody that they don't want to listen to because they're just going to find out the harder way. So they want to dive into witchcraft. So bros got to be easy with the females that they're dealing with. This is not satire. Like I said, it might be a joke. You might laugh at it because you like, man, this bitch is silly. What the hell is she talking about? Voodoo and whatnot. <laughs> All right, man. I'm telling you right now. Be easy. Don't you, Renee me. He's top of the fucking words. Wow. Tom, huh? You're lucky I got to be like a fucking racehorse. Protect your set, girl. She always was my favorite. And just on another note, man, just be easy, be wary of the friends that are around the girl that you're interested in, because they could either be a good or a terrible influence. And then for the most part, a good amount of these females with common sense won't even take advice or won't even take them friends that serious. You know what I'm saying? So you could out, you could you could do your business, you can handle your business however you want, but just pay attention to the females that's around your girl. If she's surrounded by two to three hoes, what you think she going to be? She going to be getting dragged out on Friday, Saturday nights every weekend, all these happy hours to get drunk with the equally dysfunctional friends. Yet she's trying to creep out of that bullshit because she knows better. So it could go it could go either way, regardless of what. <laughs> Man, these girls could lie to you with a straight face. <laughs> That's not just acting right there. I didn't miss you at all. What a straight ass face. And then you're about to smooch with the ex. These girls would just tell you some shit just to see your immediate reaction. Oh, I was testing you. Oh, I wanted to see if you was going to do this. It's like, chick, just be up front. Why bullshit? Why play these games? Dudes like playing these games because they're baby boys at heart, neither here nor there. But these girls, they just like pushing your buttons. They just want to see how far they can get, how far they can push you until you cut their ass off and go ahead and find somebody better. <laughs> Lying with a straight face. I ain't miss you at all. <laughs> All right, real quick, this little China man right here basically went to school with her or used to work with her. I can't remember. It, they was talking about it in the beginning of this episode when she was trying to get into a section and then she basically recognized him there. She knows that this guy had a crush, was filling her the whole time that they knew each other. And females love having guys like this, some bozos that are basically orbiting them like a fucking planet, waiting for their chance to get called into the game. Riding that pine pony, understanding that these females are not interested in them. They put them in the friend zone. They're over here chasing these other dudes that are terrible for them or the dudes that they just want so badly and whatnot. Meanwhile, guys like this, they have the car they're driving these bozos around town from school to the beach to the bar list goes on giving them rides home with no ass in return just a great thank yous not even paying for your end when they're going out to eat and whatnot just using them for their car that's it their resources that's it <laughs> there's no such thing as male and female friends really that shit is bullshit and these dudes, they know that. These dudes out here with no spine, no backbone, they love paint. They love playing the side dude. These dudes love hanging around like a sloth, like a fucking leech, just waiting for that one opportunity because that's all it's going to take. Just like right here, she got triggered that she saw her ex. Now what she's doing, just like what so many females are doing when they're in the nightclub or the bar making terrible decisions when alcohol is involved. They want to go ahead, take the random dude home and go ahead and let's see if that dude could fuck her brains out so she can't think about this dude anymore. Like I said, if that dude is in your mind and that if that female is in your mind, they got some they got some significant amount of power 
control over you, bro. To the fact that you can't even think straight. You triggered. You in a daze. Now she on your mind and whatnot. Somebody might have said her name and now you can't even think straight. You can't even continue the conversation. Shit like that. So like I said, right now, dudes are just waiting for their chance to get their name called. So right now, this dude, he's about to get his name called to go ahead and get a chance to play in the game. Let's check it out. Yeah. <laughs> just to bring y'all up to speed because y'all don't really need to see all of that shit you feel me basically man the china man couldn't get it up because he got what you call whiskey dick so he was waiting this whole time, bringing this girl from here to there, probably giving her compliments, giving her cars on Valentine's Day or whatever, shit like that. And then when the opportunity presented itself, he couldn't arise to the occasion. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't have finished that glass before they took off. And now look at her. She's disappointed. Bros always bros might find themselves in this situation to where it's in the heat of the moment. And then, boom, you can't even perform. That girl is going to be so depressed. She's going to be so disappointed that that was just, you're not going to get another shot. 99.9% .9 chance that you're not going to get another shot. You already understand that she's desperate. And you got to understand that you got to capitalize in this situation, in this capitalistic society, bro. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and bros, do not be surprised about these big time pro black chicks, the chicks that's on the internet posting, talking about white privilege, white supremacy and whatnot. Do not be surprised if you catch them with another person from another demographic. Let's be honest, let's be real. Do not be surprised about that. They're looking for validation from all quote unquote races. The China man, the Indian man, the Caucasian man, the list goes on just to get over whoever it was that they're trying to get over. Open the bar. Dude, get a bed frame. <laughs> that bed frame may matter if the man was going to be able to get it up. He was going to slam jam that, but now because the man couldn't get it up, he got the whiskey dick, quote unquote. Now you want to talk shit about the man bed on the match. <laughs> Yo, bros, man, these girls out here, they not really living righteous for the most part, man, especially in NYC, man. When you could just bump into an ex at any given time and then they could grab a random dude at any given time, man. <laughs> Oh, man, it's enough of that, though, man. I'm out.